Hey, what's up, everybody? Just a quick update on the engine. Um, the latest thing I've done is I've added a translation widget. So I'm going to spawn in an entity and attach the entity to the translation widget, and that lets me drag it along to X, Y, and Z. Something I'm doing, I've got to figure out a better solution for this, I think, is um, in order to draw the translation widget over everything, I'm using a special shader for the material. And the shader is just setting the Z component to the W after the uh, initial transform occurs. So what will happen is when the W divide happens, the Z will have a value of one or the depth will have a value of one. And since I'm using a reverse depth buffer, one will be like uh, as close to the screen as possible. So it'll be drawn over everything. The only problem with that is, as you can see here, it it's like the the one that's drawn. I I forget if it's going to be last or first, depending on how I'm doing my comparison. But either the one that's drawn last or first will be drawn over everything. So you see, I don't really want to mouse over the red here. I want to mouse over the green because technically the green's closer than the red. And if I position differently, you can kind of see what's going on there. Um, but I'll figure out, I just got to mess around with it a little bit. I, I, I didn't really want to add in any more hard coding in the engine. I was hoping there was a way I could do it just via scripting, just because I don't want to be hard coding for situations like this, but maybe there'll be a solution that's not too terrible to look at. I'm going to spawn in a couple more objects here. Whoops. And then I'll do one with this other model. All right, and once I'm done with it, I would just call detach on that translation widget. And what that'll do is it'll detach any entity that it's associated with. I also want to make, make a change, make a change so I can drag multiple things at once, like attach a bunch of entities. But uh, I'm going to do that once I have actual object picking, so I can click on the objects and select them. Also, something I was working on was a little car and player demo. So I have my little player that can run around like normally, and then if I hit F and I'm next to the car, it gets me in it. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just deleting the physics like controller for the character and I'm just moving the character entity on top of to have the same position as the vehicle's body um, when it, you know every frame. So obviously like I in like a real situation I'd want to have like the different seats and actually move the you know entity onto the seat and have like an animation for sitting and stuff. But uh, this is fine, you know, for testing and things. One last thing is for Jolt, everything's in right-handed coordinates, and I was using a left-handed coordinate system before. So what this means is when I was turning left, my vehicle was actually turning right. And when I was turning right, my vehicle was turning left. And I could have just reversed the left and right. But the only problem is I didn't know what kind of issues that could cause in the future using a different coordinate system with Jolt. So I decided to just go ahead and change the engine to use a right-handed coordinate system. And it wasn't too bad, it's just I'm not used to it. Uh, just so some of the math is a little bit different. But uh, yeah, that's all I really got for this update, and thanks for watching.